Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of designing a job list web page using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to design this using HTML and CSS. Now in this video, we will see how to generate all this content dynamically using JavaScript. So we will not hard code any of this uh, data into the HTML. We will generate all of them from a JavaScript array. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is my source code and in the HTML file we have already linked our JavaScript file over here. Now here for the JavaScript file we have a typo. I'll just correct this and I'll just change this to main.js. Right now let's start with the JavaScript. So the first thing we will do is we'll create an array and in that we will store all this data. So we will store the data of each of these cards as an object. So here we can just create a const called jobs and we can just create an array. And in that we can create several objects and in that we can have title and set the title over here. And then we can add another key value pairs over here, for example, image and add the image URL over here. And after that, you can just add a comma over here and create another object and do the same thing over here for the next job. So I'll just go ahead and create this array. Right here, I have created this array and we have the title, image, URL, we have the details and then we have the open positions and the link of the job. So all of those details are over here. And then we have the second job and uh, so on. And these images are over here inside this images folder. So now let's go ahead and let's see how to get this data from this array and how to add it to our HTML code. Now the first thing we will do is we will fix this number of jobs. So we need to display the correct number of jobs over here. Right now we have just set a random number over here. So let's go back and we need to access the heading. So if you scroll up, here we can see we have this h2 inside the jobs list container. So let's reference this. So here I'll just type const jobs heading equals document dot query selector. And here I'll just type jobs list container h2 and now here we can just go ahead and type jobs heading dot inner html equals and i'll just add it inside backticks and uh, for the number of jobs we have to get the number of items inside this array so we have this array called jobs so here we can just type dollar symbol curly braces and here we can just type jobs dot length so this will give us the number of items inside this jobs array and here we can just type jobs and now if we take a look at this array, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, and six items. So if you go back to our website, here we can see it says six jobs. Now if we just remove one of these uh, jobs from here, and uh, now if we save this, if we go back, here we can see it says five jobs. So it is working all right. Now we need to also check one more thing, which is if we have one job, so if we have just one job, we need to display job instead of jobs. So let's do that. I'll just add an if condition over here. And let's type jobs dot length equals equals one. So if the jobs length is one, then I'll just paste this code over here. And here I'll just type job. And here let's add an else. And I'll just copy this line of code and paste it down here. And here I'll just type jobs. And now if you go back here, we can see it says five jobs. But if you remove all this from here, and if you just have one job, now we can see it says one job. So the heading is working all right. Now let's go ahead and write the code for populating these cards with the correct data. So I'll just copy and paste this array back. Right now the next thing we will do is we will reference the jobs container, which is this division with the class of jobs because in that we need to add all these jobs. So let's go back to our JavaScript and uh, let's type const jobs container equals document dot query selector jobs list container jobs. And now let's create a function to display all the job cards. So let's type const and I'll just name it create job listing cards. Now we need to loop through all the items inside this array. So let's use a for each loop for that. I just type jobs dot for each. 
Now for each of the single job, I'll just call it job. Right now, let's create all these elements over here. So the first thing we will do is we'll create this division with the class of job. So let's type let job card and just call it job card equals document dot create element. And let's create a div. And we need to add a class of job for that. So let's type job card dot class list dot add job. Right now, let's go back and uh, let's create this image. So let's create an ing tag. I'll just type let image equals document dot create element. And we need to create an img tag. Now in the img tag, we need to have the src of the image. So let's type image dot src equals. Now we need to set the source of the image to the source inside our array. So here we can see we have this key of image and in that we have the link of the image. So I'll just access this image key from here. So let's type job, which we are getting from here dot. And here we can see we have all these options. Let's select image. Right now, the next thing we will do is we'll create this title. So we need to create an S3 for that. So let's type let title equals document dot create element S3. And uh, let's set the title inner HTML to job dot. And here we have this title key. And we also need to add a class of job title to that. So let's type title dot class list dot add job title. Right now let's go back and we need to create this div with a class of details. So let's type let details equals document dot create element. And let's create a div. And here we need to type details dot inner HTML equals job dot details. And let's add a class of details. So let's type details dot class list dot add details. Right now let's go back and uh, we need to create this anchor tag with a class of details btn. And we also need to add the href of the link of the job. So let's create an anchor tag. I'll just call it details btn equals document dot create element and let's create an anchor tag and uh, let's type details btn dot href equals job dot and here we have this link and then we need to type details btn dot inner html equals so if you go back to the index.html file here we can see it says more details so let's add that over here more details and then lastly we need to add a class of details btn so let's type details btn dot class list dot add details btn and then the last thing we need to have is the open positions span so let's create a span so let's type let open positions equals document dot create element span and we need to add a class of open positions to this. So let's type open positions dot class list dot add open positions. Now in this we need to have the number of positions displayed. So here also we need to have this uh, if condition just like we did for the jobs heading. So if we have just one position we need to display just position in singular. And if we have many we need to display positions. So let's add an if condition and let's type job dot open positions which is a key right here inside our object. So here we'll just check whether the open positions is equal to one. And if it is one, then we need to type open positions dot inner HTML. And let's add backticks and let's type dollar symbol curly braces job dot open positions. And here let's type open positions. And let's copy this line of code and let's add an else over here. And here we need to add positions and here we need to add just position. Right, that's basically it with all the elements. Now we need to add all these elements inside this job division right here. So we have already created this variable job card, which is the element with the class of job. So we need to type job card dot append child. 
and we need to add all these elements inside that so first of all let's add the image so just type image and job card dot append child and then we need to add the title job card dot append child and uh, then we need to add the details details button open positions so let's type details and let's type job card append child details btn and job card append child open positions and the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to add this job card inside this uh, jobs division so which is the jobs container division which is this division with the class of jobs so let's type jobs container dot append child job card right now we can go ahead and delete all these jobs from here so let's select all of these jobs and let's delete all of this and now let's go ahead and call this function which is called create job listing cards so let's call the function over here and now if you go back to our website here we can see all the jobs are displayed and all the data that we see over here is fetched from this array inside our main.js file now if you go ahead and make some changes over here so if i just change this open positions that we have over here to let's say 20 and now if you go back here we can see it says 20 open positions so that's basically how you can display the details of the jobs using javascript dynamically all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day